oh, 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 oh. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Some kids on Twitter said the N word. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. I'm insecure, so I'm gonna purge. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Guacamole ninja penis. This is offensive and racist. Doxing children makes me a sadist. It's a real good thing I'm famous. Hey, Jesse. Whoa. Hey, Jesse. I uh, oh yeah. This shit is technically illegal. Uh, 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 Jesse. So there's this person named Sky Jackson, and she was the little girl on uh, on that Disney show, Jessie. She's basically the same as the uh, the Olsen twins from Full House. She's there to look cute and nothing else. Personally, I wasn't really a fan of the show. I preferred Zack and Jughead. Those two little uh, rapscallions causing trouble in the hotel and causing Mr. Mosby to go on a shooting spree. But uh, getting back on topic, Sky Jackson is, um, I guess, a Yas Queen Twitter person. She's basically a stereotype of all the things I hate about Twitter. You know, she'll say something that's not controversial at all, like uh, racism is bad, and then people in the comments be like yes queen slay it uh -huh. followed up by a, a quote-unquote relatable gif but some of her tweets have been abnormal where she uh is doxing people because they have said racist or bigoted things in the past now some of the people i don't really feel bad for because it's not actual doxing and these are college students or adults if you're gonna publicly make a racist statement or say something that's bigoted on account where people know you then you know you deserve to get called out my problem is when sky jackson uh publicly post these private dms that friends send to her so they can get their uh, 15 minutes of fame sometimes these people will send uh fake snaps over to people and pretend like these people are racist even though they just edited the picture and you know sky jackson doesn't really take that into account she just believes everything that's being sent to her you know pe people can't edit photos online no my my fans would never so f that person i guess but you know their sacrifice was worth it to uh fight racism but how this whole thing started is when sky jackson found these two tweets by pretty young kids around 12 or 13. One of the kids just said ninja and the other kid said guacamole ninja penis. Now, when I see this, I don't think about white supremacy. What I see are two middle schoolers acting like middle schoolers. When I was in middle school, I remember people saying screwed up shit all the time. I did as well. My black friends would call me Captain Cracker. I don't give a shit. It was funny. But that's what kids do. They say stupid shit to get a laugh. And yeah, to be honest, guacamole ninja penis is pretty funny. Sky Jackson basically sent her little squad to uh, find out personal information about both of these kids. Sky Jackson was notified that your boy Trash is named Dylan and she posted his phone number on Twitter. Yeah, we have two major problems here. For one, you're doxing a kid for making a joke one year ago. You may not find the joke funny, you might think it's offensive, whatever, that's fine. But that doesn't give you any justification to dox someone. Are you really that fucking insecure that you're willing to dox a little kid because you're offended by an offensive joke? I think the problem here is that you need to grow a backbone. The second reason why this is an issue is because because one of the people she doxed, your boy Trash, isn't actually named Dylan, and that phone number she posted isn't actually your boy Trash's phone number. <clears throat> she had to make a tweet correcting her mistake. She also corrected her mistake by deleting the tweets of her doxing these two children. All's well that ends well, right? Well, no. The guy she thought was your boy Trash, Dylan, was harassed and people think he's still racist you fucked up his image because of your dumb little crusade and just because she deleted the tweet doesn't change the fact that she attempted to dock someone send out private information like someone's phone number their high school whatever that's petty as hell and you know if you can't handle two 13 year olds making a bunch of stupid offensive jokes and you need to get off online because you're clearly too sensitive so when sky was being accused of a legal act which is her doxing her rebuttal to this claim is that she's not sharing anything that's considered private information, which is horseshit because she allows people to send her private DMs, which she publicly posts on her Twitter account. Her other counter is that hate speech isn't free speech. Well, I hate to break it to you, but it is. It may be hateful and bigoted, you may not like it, but... They should be allowed to say it. If someone wants to say that they hate all white people, they should be allowed to say it. I think it's incredibly counterproductive when we try to censor everything that's deemed hateful. Or take the extra mile and try to dox them. Now, the other guy she tried to dox, Sheriff. He's a pretty stand-up kid. I'd like to buy him a beer. After Sky Jackson tried to dox this poor man, he changed his bio to this. Guacamole ninja penis. Fuck Sky Jackson. <laughs> I give praise to this kid because he's being a real good sport about it. This 
celebrity is trying to send out his personal information and he just like makes a meme out of it. This kid's more mature than Sky Jackson is. And you know, to be fair, Sky Jackson is also young, but she's 18. It's fair game. Once you hit that age, you should know by now that it's pretty bad to send out private information of other people just because you don't like what they're saying on Twitter. I thought that was common sense, but I guess not. If Sky wants to continue to expose, expose, not dox, adults and college students who have said racist stuff, on their profile publicly, then, you know, I'm not going to get mad at that because that's their fault for being stupid enough to post bigoted stuff like that on their profile where their managers or whoever else can see what they're doing. That's 100% on them. But if you're going out trying to purge little kids for jokes they made a year ago, then something is probably wrong with you.